Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artist. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of many. Oh, absolutely, because He's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting step one to step two before his opponent even realizes now he's in on my leg. And if they do get there, his back immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the U.S. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight, but there aren't that many guys who are gonna wanna stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Knoxville, Tennessee, USA, Iron. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your point. with tonight though he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything and that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage but we know what a high level striker is and this guy is as high level as we've ever seen in the UFC. big punch lands over the top how's he gonna follow this one up? look at him chopping the wood chop the wood with those leg kicks Loaded up there on that high kick. Oh man, don't be afraid to raise the guard as another head kick lands. One more here, DC, and we could be having a referee coming in waving his arms. Waving it off. It could be over in an 
instant if you do not block head kicks. What a phenomenal job by the offensive fighters setting it up and then throwing that head kick over the top. Nice job setting it up. Good job landing. Great offense. Oh, he might be out. Outstanding output on both sides. It's okay, keep going. Strong defense there to block the shot. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Ooh, found a home for that knee. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. He loaded up with this right hand, too. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. <laughs> Lee's strike attempt there is blocked. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch him punch like this puts a smile on my face. Oh, you heard Bally Jeff. Five minutes in the books. So there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. There's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. If that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Big kick. Switching stances here. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Some nice back and forth action here. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the bottom. Big call for punch lands. Now he gets back to range. He's going after the head. Oh, a huge block there. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. 
the tie clinch here. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tuck to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Taibo class or something like that. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked. It's ahead, and he's still standing. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. And leaves a strike attempt there is blocked. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, man. This is one thing you do not want to get kicked in the head at MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy can play up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. Just misses there with the left. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Nice kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Misses with that punch. Just missed with the left there. Straight punch lands. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. And both guys really thrown with authority. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Good stick. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Right hand on point. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. And they separate. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rates, stamina still very high, 
and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fighting. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, lands a stiff punch there, nice connection. Oh, nice land. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. That right hand hurt him a little bit. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. And the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Another shot lands upstairs. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. And he landed the right hand there. Ooh, looking to set up that head kick. Lee's elbow attempt here, that one blocked by the defense. It's such a fast leg kick. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Oh, big right hook, but a whiff. Lands the knee to the body now. Oh, what a punch. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. But how about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not good. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Here's the kick blocked by Lee. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Just a slip there. Pretty good right hand. Keep your hands up for me. Come on now. Let's move. Let's move. Nice leg kick. Just misses with the right. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. All 
right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? This is when you gotta go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You gotta throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not gonna win this fight. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. He's throwing every part of it. Oh! He's out! He got him! What a performance! Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near-perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve will be as well as stop in this contest. At three minutes, 17 seconds of round number five, declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? This is going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check is going to be carried to the club tonight.